The Bristol Churches City Fund was set up three years ago with the whole aim of encouraging churches across the city to contribute to a central fund that we could then use to address some of the most significant social needs that we see in Bristol. We've contributed towards debt centres, we've provided funding for food banks and we've also supported a number of refugee projects. But this year was different. In the light of COVID-19, food poverty has become one of the biggest challenges that the city has seen in recent months. And we've therefore supported food banks in the provision of food. And also going forward, we're funding three support workers that will work in different areas of the city to provide holistic support to families and individuals who are really struggling in the context of the most significant pandemic that we've seen in our lifetime. We've been running a food bank here for about six and a half years. Um, so we've got a lot of experience in, in helping our local community and serving them with uh, food to keep them going. However, this year has been quite remarkable. Uh, the demand went up fivefold back in April and has been running really high. It has dropped off a little bit recently. Without the city fund, we wouldn't have been able to keep up the food supply. So we've been bulk buying food through those funds and distributing food from this food bank to other food banks in, in South Bristol. And all the food banks in, in Bristol have benefited in this way. Uh, and that's enabled us to feed uh, this much higher number of people over this extended period of time. We're beginning to look forward to the autumn and into the winter. And we are certainly concerned about the demand that might uh, resurrect itself again through COVID and through the recession. So the fund has been able us to build up some stocks of food and have some resilience against that demand that um, we, we think will come in the autumn. So we've been greatly blessed and have been able to bless literally hundreds of people as a result of that. Before COVID, all of our food came from donations from individuals, from churches, from other organisations. And that's been great, that's continued. However, the demand in COVID was so high that the City Fund was able to step in and provide funds so that we could buy food that we were running out of to fill those gaps. And that enabled us to provide a level of consistency of food supply to individuals and to families in this community and has been crucial in helping us get through the COVID period. People struggle to put food on the plate for lots of different reasons. And those reasons are the things that we're, in, funnily enough, more interested in helping and solving. And some of those can be solved with fairly simple pieces of work. For other people, I think there are more complex issues. So I think um, we, we, with the support workers, I hope that we'll be able to work more closely with some of the people who refer to us. Um, some people come to the food bank and they, they may have a drug or alcohol addiction. Um, and that's not, going to, that's not going to go away in a week or a couple of months. Um, that needs a lot of time and effort and, and there may be reasons for that even. So there may be reasons for people struggling with addiction and that may be around whether they're part of the community or not. So we, so we, we know that there are many levels of, of, of poverty and they're, they're caused by lots of different reasons. So we hope that the support workers that are provided by this funding We'll be able to make that connection with people, help them in the journey of working out how to get things sorted like their debts or their rent arrears or various other things, or, or even just feeling lonely and isolated. So that's our, our hope, is that we'll be able to do that with the, with the funding and the support workers that we get through it. I hope this short film has helped you to better understand the work that we're seeking to do through the Bristol Churches City Fund. This year, we benefited from a significant grant from Stewardship, the national charity, which has made a, a real difference alongside the funding that you as individuals and churches have provided. Going forward, there will be further need, whether it's food poverty or other social issues across the city. And we're keen therefore to ensure that the fund is able to make a real difference. So your ongoing support will be hugely valued, but we're grateful to all that you've done so far.